music on and I don't need to listen. I got my rhythm, got my own beat. Sending signals that I'm dancing inside. So won't you leave me alone? Just me and my headphones. Drukkoljunk együtt a magyar sikerekért! Sportlövő Európa-bajnokság élőben, Győrből február 23-án és 24-én, kizárólag a Digisport csatornáin. Digisport. Mindenünk a sport. Athletes to the line. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the athletes. Welcome the range officers and jury members. And finally, please welcome the coaches.
Five minutes preparation and sighting time. Start. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Yoregeld Kivanok, Hojvaj. Good? Everything good? Excellent. Well, we're about to officially start the 2018 European Air Gun Championships with the Junior Women's Air Rifle. Before we do that, we'll get a little feeling of what's going on around the venue and around the championship. So we're going to speak to one of the shooters. Come on over, Henrik Larsen of Norway. Give him a round of applause. He's not a junior anymore. I've known him since he was like, uh, you know, well, okay, maybe over there. Now he's like taller than me. But Henrik, it's good to see you. Who more to do? Oh, sorry, wrong language. Uh, how are you? I'm good. I'm a little tired. I arrived from America on Sunday, so I'm a little jet lagged, but everything is good. So, just explain to the audience this is like your new lifestyle. You've moved to America. Tell us what you're doing over there. Uh, yeah, I moved from, to America from Norway. Uh, I've been studying there and competing at the college level, so I'll be able to kind of been studying and shoot at the same time. So. Is it, is it, are you enjoying this combination of studying and being able to shoot competitively, uh, regularly in your daily life? I am. It's kind of, if you're tired of shooting, you can study. And, some, and also, if you're kind of, if you want to have a break from the studies, you can also go to a shooting range and get your mind, like, kind of break, take a break from the studying. And how does it feel now? Because you're competing with some of the biggest shooters in the world, the ones that you've grown up with. So it's uh, it's uh, quite a big change that you're preparing yourself for. You're shooting on Friday. I'm kind of, when I was a junior, I always wanted to compare my results with the senior to be seniors to be prepared. And I'm just looking forward to compete with the big guys and see what I got. Uh, just for anyone Hungarian in the audience, I asked him, how is life in America? Basically, he said, your, your, that's the only word I know. Uh, you have got a lot of Norwegian fans and comrades in the audience there, and uh, they seem to be full of support and full of noise. Let's have a little example of how you are feeling today. Very good. Now, remember, the flags won't make any noise, so you have to use your voices and your cowbells as well. But... I know for a fact that you have some competition because over there in Russia, they have got some, some accessories that they brought with them as well. Let's have an example of some noise from Russia. Very good. Now, I want to teach you something. The important, I was watching the time. The important thing is, you brought the accessories, don't be shy to use them, okay? When the athletes are shooting and during the competition, encourage them and support them and enjoy yourselves. Basically, just blow the horn, Russia, okay? Someone translate for them. Blow the horn, all right? So don't be shy. Make sure you enjoy the competition. Henrik, best of luck to you. And, uh, well, we'll see you in a couple of days, hopefully, on the range. Give him a round of applause. Henrik Larsen of Norway. Very good guy. And uh, we appreciate his time. Best of luck to him. Best of luck to all of you. We're going to start the competition very shortly. Don't be shy. Thirty seconds.
stop, unload. Athletes may remain in position, but turn heads and faces towards spectators. Ladies and gentlemen, a very good morning to you. A warm welcome, Udvin, Udmin Dankinak. Welcome to you all to the Audi Arena in Dürer for the 2018 European Air Gun Championships. My name is Shaq, and this is the final for the Junior Women's Air Rifle. These are your eight athletes competing in the final. Please make lots of noise for them. On firing point A, representing Serbia, Maria Malic. On firing point B, representing the Russian Federation, she was fourth and fifth at two ISSF Junior World Cups in 2016, Daria Boldinova. <laughs> On firing point C, representing Norway, Jeanette Heg Dustor. On firing point D, representing Italy, Sofia Benetti. <laughs> On firing point E, representing Germany, she won silver at the first ISSF Junior World Championships in 2017, Anna Janssen. On firing point F, representing the Russian Federation, Anastasia Derevyagina. <laughs> On firing point G, representing Denmark, round of applause for Stephanie Gunsor. And finally, on firing point H, representing the Russian Federation, she won silver at the 2016 ISSF Junior World Cup in Gabala and bronze the same year in Seoul, Tatyana Karkova. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the jury member in charge of this final is Miss Andrea Guryup from Slovenia. And the Chief Range Officer for this final and all finals is Mr. Vilmos Pal from Hungary. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what did I say? Don't be shy. Please make lots of noise for your athletes. Enjoy the competition and support them during the final. Take your positions. You will also know, I'll just remind you, that uh, the women in qualification are now shooting 60 shots just like the men. And because of that, the top qualifier today uh, set a new qualifying world record. That is natural for the women's events because of the increase in the number of shots. So the new uh, world record stands at 625.7. For the first competition series, load, start.
stop. That was the first series of five shots in the competition. Some very strong scores. You can see that the leader, the Italian Benetti, shot 52 points. That's 0 0.1 ahead of her nearest rival. Look at this, six of the eight athletes shot over 51. That is some brilliant shooting. The highest individual score was Dere Vyagina of Russia. With her third shot, she shot a 10.9. The perfect shot. The next highest shot was a 10.7, and that was shot by four athletes, Janssen of Germany, Benetti of Italy, Karkova, of, uh, of Russia and Dusta of Norway. They all shot 10.7s during that series. Strong start to the competition. This is the second series of five shots. For the next competition series, load. Start. Stop.
Well, again, the really good shooting continued in that series. The leader of the competition is now the German shooter, Anna Janssen, 52.5. That's an amazing score. Amazing score. She's leading the final by 1.1. You can see on the screens there how closely her shots were. Five shots in the 10 ring, including a 10.7. The highest individual score was a 10.8. That was shot by two of the athletes, Benetti of Italy and Dusto of Norway. Dusto of Norway is now in joint fourth position. She was seventh before that series. She's in joint fourth position with Karkova of Russia. Uh, some, some really, really good shooting. We're now going to move into single shots. And this is the 11th shot in the final. Remember, the first elimination takes place after the 12th shot. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Stop. Well, there was a little bit of a change there in the scoreboard. Garkova of Russia shot a 10.8, so she moves into second place now. That was a that was a very good shot for the Danish shooter Gunso, 10.7, and she really needed that because she's she's still in eighth place. There's a 1.3 difference between her and the Norwegian Dusta, who now falls into fourth place, uh, into seventh place after hitting the nine ring. So the next shot is crucial. This is the elimination shot, and uh, it's Dusta and Gunso occupying the bottom two places in the scoreboard. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Stop. So ladies and gentlemen, we have the first elimination and please give a round of applause taking eighth place for Denmark, Stefanie Gunsor. <laughs> Congratulations to Stefanie, that's her first final, so very well done. Uh, Anna Janssen of Germany, she's leading the final by one point even. She shot a 10.8 with that last shot. Very, very good shooting. Uh, we now have the 13th shot in the final. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Stop. 
Well, that was uh, an interesting shot for the Serbian Malic and Dursta of Norway. Both of them shot a 10.5. They were in seventh and sixth, but the Serbian moves up one place into fifth now. You can see that no lead is bigger than 0 0.9. The next shot is another elimination shot. It's for seventh place. And Dursta is 0 0.4 behind Boldin Boldinova of Russia. And uh, she's only 0 0.1 away from the Serbian in fifth place. Very, very tight. Let's see what happens with the next shot. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Stop. It always seems to happen on the elimination shot. Very strong scores all across the board, but taking seventh place for Norway. Give a round of applause, please, to Jeanette Durstor. Once again, her first final and her highest finish in an international competition. So very well done to Jeanette. Uh, the Russians shooting very strongly there. Derevyagina Karkova both shot 10.7s and uh, they are in second and third. 0 0.3 is the lead for Anna Janssen who's still holding the final at the top of the scoreboard. Next shot is the 15th shot. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Stop. Well, this is, this is so tight. Uh, Benetti of Italy and Malic of Serbia, they're in joint fourth position at the moment. Anna Janssen is still leading the competition, but only just by 0 0.1 because uh, Derev Yagina of Russia, she shot a 10.8 with that last shot. So she's really closing the gap. She's moved into second place now. The next shot decides sixth position. Boldinova is 0 0.1 away from two athletes in joint fourth. Incredibly tight. This is the 16th shot. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Stop. Ladies and gentlemen, taking sixth place in the final, please give a round of applause for Russia's Daria Boldinova. Well, Daria has competed in two ISSF Junior World Cups so far. Very well done to her. Well, 
Tatyana Karkova of Russia. She now takes the lead in the final for the first time. In fact, Anna Janssen falls down to third place now, but there is only 0.3 between the top three athletes. Maria Malic of Serbia, she shot a 10.8 and holds on to fourth position. This is great shooting. This is the 17th shot. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Stop. Well, none of the positions changed there. All of the shots were high, although Bonetti of Italy, she hit the nine ring, but she's less than one point away from Malic of Serbia in fourth place. The next shot will decide fifth place. It's the elimination shot. Let's see what happens. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Stop. Ladies and gentlemen, taking fifth place in the competition, please give a warm round of applause for Sofia Benetti. Well, congratulations to Sofia. She actually uh, already participated in the youth final on the first day of competitions as well. So very well done, she made two finals. Uh, the top three athletes, in, well, the top four athletes do not change, the, in fact, they do change positions. What I wanted to say was the top three athletes, the difference between them is only 0.3. It's the same difference as it was one shot ago. However, Anna Janssen of Germany, she now moves back to the top of the scoreboard after shooting a 10.6. This is the 19th shot. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Stop. Well, that was a shot very much in favor of the German Janssen. She shot a 10.4. Both of the Russians shot 9. 9.8 for Derevyagina, 9.9 .9 for Karkova. But it's only a 0 0.7 lead for Janssen. There's a 1.1 total difference between the four athletes. One shot could change everything here. The fourth place will be decided after the next shot. Malic needs to overturn a 0.3 to guarantee herself a medal from this final. For the next competition shot, load. Start.
stop. There is a tie for the lowest ranking finalist to be eliminated. The next command for Karkova and Malic only. For the shoot of shot, load. Start. Stop. Ladies and gentlemen, taking fourth place in the competition, representing Russia. She shot great in that final, Tatiana Karkova. Oh, very well done. She narrowly missed out on her third career medal. I knew this was going to be a good final. I had a feeling about it. Malic of Serbia steals the bronze medal, at least, at least a bronze medal for the Serbian. And that's her highest position of the final so far. What a time to get it. Going into that shot, Derevjagina shot a 10.7. Less than one second later, Anna Janssen shot a 10.9. It was the perfect shot. And she's leading the final by 0.9. There's four shots left. This is the 21st shot. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Stop. Well, the Russian, Derevyagina, she hit the nine ring there. She was the only one of the three athletes to do so. This, this could be remarkable for the Serbian Malic because now she's only 0.4 from Derevyagina, who's in a little bit of danger from giving away this silver medal position here. Anna Janssen increases her lead to 1.4. This next shot could confirm the bronze medal. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Stop. The Russian held on. Ladies and gentlemen, the bronze medalist. Big round of applause for Serbia's Maria Malic. Well, that, that is the first career medal for Maria Malic. Very, very well done. Great shooting. Very well done. There's two shots left. It's a 1.2 difference in favor of the German shooter. This is the penultimate shot in the final. For the next competition shot, load. Start.
Stop. Ai, ai, ai. Derev Yagina, Russia, 10.9. What an explosive shot. That was explosive. But Anna Janssen, 10.6. Very strong shooting. There's only a 0.9 difference. You know what this means. It could change in one shot. The advantage is with the German. But this could be the final shot in the competition. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Stop. Results are final. Ladies and gentlemen, the junior gold medalist and European champion for Germany, and with a new European junior record, Anna Janssen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, she's broken the European junior record by 1.2. The previous record was 2.249.1 set by Jade Baudet of France. She's broken the record by 1.2 with a score of 250.3. Amazing. Very well done. Here are the medalists. The bronze medalist for Serbia, Maria Malic. The silver medalist for Russia, Anastasia Derevyakina. And the new junior European champion for Germany, Anna Janssen. With a new European junior record, great shooting, very well done. Ladies and gentlemen, stay where you are. The victory ceremony will take place right there on the podium on your left-hand side in less than 10 minutes' time. Kusanam, stay right there.
and gentlemen, the victory ceremony for the Junior Women's Air Rifle. The medals will be presented by Mr. Pekka Kusisto, Vice President of the European Shooting Confederation, and Mr. Laszlo Molnar, Competition Manager of the European Championship. The bronze medal representing Serbia, Maria Malic. The silver medal representing the Russian Federation, Anastasia Derevyagina. The gold medalist and new junior European champion with a new European junior record for Germany, Anna Janssen. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the national anthem of Germany. Congratulations to all of the medalists and all of the participants. So remember, the new junior, world, uh, junior European record set by Anna Janssen is 250.3, and she broke the record by 1.2. You can now take some photos, and the junior men's air rifle will take place a little bit later in the afternoon. But the next event, 
is the running target at 1.30. The running target will take place at 1.30. It's going to be to your right-hand side in this finals hall over there. We've got a separate firing range for the running target, 1.30. So please join us and thank you very much.